okay I'm selecting the whole screen welcome to uh, BB flashback screen recorder and the uh, power director as an editing uh, software first uh, I have to uh, download a video from YouTube as you can see that's what you used uh, and then I have to select that video in YouTube and this is the video I want to uh, download Wow, enough so now I'm gonna go get the URL you see right click copy and then I will paste that URL in this uh, YouTube uploader here see right here and it, it does it automatically and then press OK and I just have to press OK this OK now this uh, GB and Rigs video is going to be uh, in my PC uh, in a file and I'm going now to present to you that fantastic power director uh, software why is it fantastic because it does it all and uh, it is only $55 compared to Camtasia it was uh, $299 with YouTube you can uh, upload uh, up to 10 minutes and if you want uh, there is a way to upload more than that and there is the link in my uh, wiki page that uh, you can uh, uh, follow and watch a video we will demonstrate that to you okay let's import first the different files here I have one that I want to uh, put in uh, that software okay here's one about the dust ball that I did already uh, download from YouTube here's another one uh, that I called mad uh, it's about uh, a little introduction to you know class uh, peers and let's import another one here uh, that uh, I called uh, yeah that's about uh, Jimi Hendrix all right let's open Jimi Hendrix come on open Jimi Hendrix okay it's supposed to come here all right now I have those three now just simply drag over here this movies and as you can see it's too long and I just want to make it short so Okay, now I'm going to split this here and get rid of the right part. Now let's drag our Jimi Hendrix. It's too long also, so let me play the first part. By the way, let me tell you why I'm using Jimi Hendrix. Uh, because uh, that was my first contact with YouTube I was not really attracted by YouTube and uh, my son one day told me that uh, they had some kind of lessons for music and I said well oh, really and you know a private tutor if you want to play guitar is uh, like uh, 20 bucks for half an hour so it was a lot cheaper and so now I can play this listen I love it okay now let's get let's split and get rid of that right part okay as I told you I, I tried to reconstitute the little uh, video that I show you at the beginning of uh, the wiki remember this is my wiki page and I embedded it that video uh, and you can see Claire here is on the front page the photo so that's how I embedded it I mean not how but where okay what's left is mad why I call that mad I'm gonna let you know now Okay, I need to cut it a little bit. So as you're gonna see, this is our teacher. She smiled, but uh, she was not very happy this day because not everybody shows up. Oh, you know her. So now that part here is uh, the reconstitution of that little movie that you have on that wiki, you see? And I'm just gonna add now and show you the different functions that you can use in that program. So starting on the left here, you have what they call the effect room. Let me click on this. So we're going to use that. Uh, no, I changed my mind. We're not going to use that one. Here you have the object room. 
Here you have what they call the particle room. I didn't have time to check what it was about. Uh, here it's a text. We might do something with it. I know how to use it now. And here you have the transition room. And let's do a transition right now that we're going to incorporate to our, I like that one. It's called a flip up. You see, you just drag it and put, try to put that in between these views. And then let's do that other one, which is a flip, flip down, flip right, flip right. Okay, I'm going to drag it here. Okay, in between. Okay. Let's check now what it does and if it works. Okay, it didn't work. The second one should work after that video. Now I believe it's going to work. Look at the effect. See? It's flipping. You'll see the second one now. I can hear myself. See? Second effect. So it worked. Let's do now a text page and see what we can get. I'm gonna drag it down here where I say text. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I put it at the end of our little movie. Let's double click on it. Okay, fantastic. I'm just gonna try to type uh, the end. Yeah. You know, like in the movie the end all right I'm gonna click OK very simple now let's go back to Stephanie and see if this is gonna play the end see it plays the end you have it here very good so this is our all production here and now uh, we're gonna have to produce it so this is the coolest part, look, I, I click on produce, okay. And in this part here, when I click to file, you see that you can convert all your video files in different format. And this is crucial, very important. For example, uh, uh, yeah, I want to tell you that the, uh, the video that I bought is a Kodak and uh, it works with MOV uh, file format and uh, I have to find something to convert it and uh, when it is uh, inside already um, a software and editor it is the best way to go and less headache so I converted from AMOV to uh, AVI or WMV and by the way if uh, you do a PowerPoint presentation here uh, you have to go for WMV and that line here it says DSL 100 to 768 key BPS. Very important, don't forget. Now, if you upload to YouTube, right here, you don't have to do this because it's gonna convert automatically. As you see here, I have already a username and a password because I did create uh, an account with YouTube, a pro account, I'm gonna show it to you. This is my channel called M de jean -Lis Pro Channel. You can see Claire again here and all my videos here. Now back to the Power Director, what you have to do is uh, select a category here, I'll say Education, and uh, put a title here, you just see type a title in that place here, and you click Start, and, uh, and normally uh, between 15 minutes and maybe 2 or 3 hours, your 10 minutes video should be uploaded in, uh, in YouTube or Facebook or whoever or Vimeo, um, they are different that I listed, different uh, Hosting a uh, place where you can uh, put your videos. So from my channel, I go to my videos. So you can see the list of my videos here, and uh, I go to edit now to see them. Okay, yeah, I did edit once. See that famous one? You can see the different part here. And if you click here, you will have the URL appearing and the embedding also, I don't know where it is this time, it should be here, the embedded uh, code. Sorry, it's up there, embed or URL. So I can double click in this, copy and paste, and back in my wiki, edit, and here you see video, and I'm gonna embed it in my video. You have different option, you go to others, and here you have the window to embed, and save, and that's it.